All right, so here's another example. This one's gonna be a little bit more involved. So we've got our vector field here, slightly more complicated, still not so bad. Um, the major complication is gonna come from our surface. This time our surface is the boundary of the unit cube, right? Um, so the, the main trouble here is that this is, it's piecewise smooth. Piecewise, okay, I can't spell some more. Piecewise. Smooth, right, and it has six smooth components. Okay, so this is gonna make things a little bit trickier. So what we're, what we're looking at here is a problem where we've got to do each face of the cube separately. So this is going to be a lot of work, right? Um, we'll see how it goes. It might not always be so bad. So we work through and we see what we get. So let's work with, so let's do one on the bottom. So on the bottom, Z is zero, and X and Y are between zero and one. So the, the natural parameterization to take here, and you can almost skip the parameterization, right? R of X, Y is gonna be X, Y, zero. Um, this is a scenario where you might want to use, so remember that we have two different ways of computing a surface integral. We can do it like this, or we can do it like this, where little n is the unit normal vector. This is a situation where the second formula might be easier to use because we know what a unit normal vector is for every one of these faces, right? plus i, minus i, plus j, minus j, plus k, minus k. We know the unit normal for each face. Uh, the other thing that makes it easy is that the surface area element, there's nothing to do there, right? They're all planar surfaces. They're all parallel to coordinate planes. So we know that ds is going to be either dx, dy, or, or dy, dz, or dx, dz, depending on, on which face you're doing, okay? So we want to go that way. So we want to say that f, so our f of x, y, z, dotted with, with n, okay, it's going to be, for the bottom, f is going to be x, y squared, 0, 0, right, because z equals 0 in the other two components dotted with 0, 0, minus 1. We get 0. Okay? Next we can do the top. So on the top, z equals 1. x and y run from 0 to 1. And so what we're going to get is that our f of x, y, z dot n is going to be x, y squared. Now this is just y and then x squared, right? Setting z equal to 1 dotted with. So it's the upward pointing normal vector on top, right? We point down on the bottom. We point up on the top. So we simply get x squared here, okay? All right, it's not so bad. And we can also say that what we've got then is the integral from zero to one, zero to one, x squared dx dy, which is simply one third, simple enough, all right? Then we could do, let's say we do the front. So on the front, x equals 1, y and z are between 0 and 1, 
And so what we're going to have is that f of x, y, z is equal to, so x is 1, so y squared, y, z squared, z. And on the front, the normal vector is in, it's plus i, right? It's 1, 0, 0. So we get y squared, and just like here, we're going to need to go from 0 to 1, 0 to 1, y squared dy dz, and we get, oh, sorry, thinking about the next one already, we get another 1 third. Let's do the, uh, what's next, the back? Well, let's start speeding things up, right? Because we still got three more phases to go through. What about on the back? On the back of the cube, x is 0. So those two vanish. Only the middle component is non-zero, but our normal vector does not have a y component, right? Our normal vector is minus 1, 0, 0. So we know that the answer is going to be 0 on the back. Uh, similarly, the sort of the left face, um, where y is equal to 0, so this is the, the x equals 0 face. Uh, on the left face, y is 0, so that's 0, that's 0. That isn't, but our normal vector points that way. It's 0, minus 1, 0. So when we take the dot product, we also get zero. That leaves us with one more. The last face, six, the right-hand side. You might guess what it's going to happen here. So on the right-hand side, y equals one. We're going to have x, z squared, zx squared, dotted with zero, one, 0, so that comes out to give you z squared. We get 0 to 1, 0 to 1, z squared, dz, dx, and we get another 1 third. Um, so the total flux, we add up the contribution from all six faces. 1 third plus 1 third plus 1 third, we get 1 for the total.